Hello, happy Friday, welcome back to the couch. Another week together, here we are. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my accessories and my favourite pieces that are on the blog uh, often or that have been over the years. These are pieces that I get asked a lot about all the time as well. People are intensely curious to know sometimes where I find these things around town or on my travels and things like that. And of course things that I've made as well. So first of all, I'm going to start with these beautiful cuffs. I uh, actually made these. I ran my own accessories label for about seven years, which I recently sort of wound up. It was under my own name, Phoebe Montague. And I used to work with sort of semi-precious Swarovski crystals, Japanese glass pearls and things like that. And that's what this is. I picked these up uh, from Maria George here in Melbourne and created these cuffs because I just couldn't find what I was looking for in the shops, which is, I think, how a lot of people come to, you know, do it yourself when they're looking for fashion and accessories and that kinds of thing. I really, really love these, and I get asked all the time about them, where I get them, and then uh, when I talk about I made them, how I made them. It's quite easy uh, to do yourself. These are glued on to a, a sort of plastic or resin cuff, so you can get your hands on any type of material really. I've chosen ones that I like, but it's, you, the possibilities are endless out there as well. It would be remiss of me not to mention my pearls, <laughs> talking about accessories, because these are featured so heavily on the blog over the years. I bought these in London from Primark for two pounds a stand. I've seen them now um, in Australia quite a lot at, at all sorts of sort of accessory outlet stores. Uh, when I first bought them though, I hadn't seen anything like it. And I tend to wear all three at once around my neck. They're fabulous at Fashion Week. They make a real statement. And I, I, I just sort of love the tongue-in-cheek humour too of having these giant oversized pearls hanging off around your neck. These rings are from an Australian designer uh, called Studio Leanne. And I featured this on the blog before. You probably recognise this amazing giant love heart ring. I wear, again, this to events and things like Fashion Week just because it pops. And the other day, she sent me this beautiful red one to wear. She said, it's a must-have for Valentine's Day, and I can't agree more. I just think it's, um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And another sort of statement piece, and a great Aussie designer to boot. I've been asked a lot lately about this bracelet. Uh, some of you want to know where it's from. It was given to me last year for my birthday from my dear, dear girlfriend. It's from Tiffany. And I don't wear a lot of Tiffany. I actually didn't own any before this bracelet. I've never been a sort of Tiffany person. Uh, but I do it, I do like it. And I was sort of a bit unsure how to wear it. It's quite... I, I, it's, the silver balls are quite an icon of, you know, Tiffany jewellery. I've added my own medallion to it. I picked this up in High Street, Armadale. Uh, at a shop and it was actually on a necklace so I bought the necklace it was $30 and I love the fact that I've got this sort of little charm that I found in a shop attached to a Tiffany bracelet uh, just the way that I like to do things this necklace I picked up on uh, Sydney Road in Brunswick in Melbourne from a little store that uh, doesn't accept cards so cash only don't have an internet presence and is run by the most beautiful Turkish woman who gets jewellery and homewares from um, all different parts of Turkey. I've been stopped in the street wearing this necklace. People just, for some reason, people just uh, seem to be sort of transfixed by it. I, I mean, that's why I bought it. As soon as I saw it, I, I couldn't believe it. It was $40, if you can believe. Now, I know that particularly if you're watching this from overseas, you might be wondering how you could buy something like this. If you did a Google search for Turkish jewellery, jewellery from Turkey, silver jewellery Turkey, I'm sure that there are plenty of places online uh, that, that would sell this kind of thing. And hopefully at an affordable price as well. Otherwise, maybe something like Etsy or eBay, you might be able to find it. But I absolutely treasure this necklace. I, I love it for, it for how unique it is and the story behind where I bought it. Lastly, I've got this beautiful um, vintage necklace from Chanel that I haven't actually worn on the blog for a while, but again, I'm talking about statement pieces today, and th this is a statement and a staple that I have had um, for a few years now, so longer term readers will, will probably recognise it. I picked it up at a shop in Melbourne. Uh, I do own a lot of Chanel jewellery. I'm not sure whether this is authentic. To me, it does look like an old authentic piece, but you, you can never tell. If you can't prove the sort of provenance and you haven't bought it yourself, it is hard to tell. 
But again, it's just special to me because I found it in a little shop sort of tucked away uh, at the back of the counter. And it, it's like the sort of Turkish, the necklace from Turkey. Every time I wear it, people comment and want to know where it's from and, and how I found it. Uh, I haven't worn it for a while, I'm not sure why, but we do have Fashion Week coming up here, so I tend to sort of dig out um, all of my um, statement pieces from my accessories closet. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do. I have a closet just for my accessories and my shoes. It's sad, but true. It's tragic. <laughs> That's uh, the story behind some of the jewellery and accessories that sort of live um, in my wardrobe and make up part of what I wear every day. I hope it's answered some of your questions because I do often get asked, if I don't mention it on the blog, where things are from or how I've come to find them. Uh, as usual, this has come to me via Twitter or through the blog. You can find me at, at Lady Melbourne on Twitter or through the blog. If you have any questions or comments or there's a topic that you'd like covered, please feel free to email me or just drop me a line on the blog and I'll see what I can do. But until next week, uh, I hope you enjoy your week uh, and your own accessories and I'll see you then.